Chris, it doesn't hurt that the morning starts out every day with a sergeant at arms warning you that if you don't, you will be imprisoned. Don't choose imprisonment instead of anything further. Three of them will be in the slammer right now if John Roberts <laughs> actually enforce the rules. Seriously, they're talking in the chamber. Period. I mean, you were hearing the whisper yes. and they're leaning over and talking to each other. They yes. could be thrown behind bars by the rules of the yeah. Senate. I said for years that one thing that makes the left particularly dangerous is their ability to rationalize just about anything. Not only do they want to stigmatize and I think even criminalize their political opposition, I also never doubted that they would come up with some way to imprison them as well. In my opinion, the Republicans are right not to take any of this impeachment seriously. Does anybody have any doubt that the media would be dismissing all of this if the roles were reversed? What are they impeaching him for exactly? Supposedly abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. But but what laws were actually broken? When you ask what laws were broken, the pro-impeachment crowd will typically respond by pointing to the GAO report that showed Trump broke the law by withholding Ukrainian aid. If that's impeachable as abuse of power under Trump, why wasn't it even a scandal during the Obama administration? And don't even get me started on these Democrat claims that we're fighting Russia and Ukraine so we don't have to fight them here. It, it isn't just our national interest in protecting our own elections. It's not just our national interest in making sure that the Ukraine remains strong and on the front line so they fight the Russians there and we don't have to fight them here. Moreover, as one witness put it during our impeachment inquiry, the United States aids Ukraine and her people so that we can fight Russia over there and we don't have to fight Russia here. You were asked, what's the biggest geopolitical threat facing America? You said Russia, not Al Qaeda. You said Russia in the 1980s are now calling to ask for their foreign policy back. And these ridiculous claims that somehow Trump is putting America at risk by withholding that aid. When Russia invaded Crimea, the Democrats and Obama did nothing. And they refused to give Ukraine lethal aid to fight back against Russia. Who ended up doing that? Trump and the Republicans. The Obama administration didn't even want to send lethal aid to Ukraine, saying, quote, the fact is Ukraine, which is a non-NATO country, is going to be vulnerable to military domination by Russia no matter what we do. Can you even imagine the uproar if Trump said anything like that? Moreover, it turns out that four of the Democrat House managers that have been lecturing Republicans on support for Ukraine for the last three days didn't even vote for legislation that would have provided the aid that they're lecturing about. What I find very interesting now is that the House managers are very, very centered on the fact that Russia was invading Ukraine and military funding to Ukraine. When did Russia roll their tanks into Crimea? That was 2014. Obama administration. How did the Obama administration react? to that invasion of Ukraine. They reacted by sending blankets. This administration, President Trump provided lethal aid to the Ukrainian people. How many times have you heard somebody in the media or a Democrat claim that the Obama administration was scandal free? Nothing like this even remotely close ever happened in that administration. But you know, completely I think, scandal free. I, I think you know the talking points that many times we hear on, on Fox News. You know, the president was eight years scandal free. No scandal. No. Yeah. No nothing. Yes. No, nothing, y'all. No it's been scandal free, frankly, in the White House. We haven't had that for a while. It's a really strange claim to make because we all know that the immigration problems that exist under Trump existed under Obama as well. Ah, but the media never reported it as a scandal. And in fact, most of his supporters don't even know any of that stuff went on during his administration. We also know the GAO found that the Obama administration broke the law seven times, yet it was never a scandal. In fact, at the time, the media claimed that it was just a partisan stunt by the Republicans. Three of them will be in the slammer right now if John Roberts actually enforced the rules. Seriously, they're talking in the chamber, period. I mean, you were hearing the whisper yes. and they're leaning over and talking to each other. They yes. could be thrown behind bars by the rules of the Senate. So the obstruction of Congress is supposedly Trump withholding documents, ignoring subpoenas, and withholding witnesses. Yet during the Fast and Furious investigation, Obama ignored subpoenas, withheld documents, and withheld witnesses. Barack Obama's attorney general and wingman Eric Holder ignored subpoenas to testify. When Republicans attempted to hold Eric Holder in contempt, Democrats actually walked out of the vote to the drooling applause of the media.
single Republican voted to hold the attorney general in contempt over this crazy conspiracy theory. Tell the Republicans to stop this witch hunt now. He's right. Why go ahead with a contempt vote? Look, there are certain internal documents that are not Congress's business. It, it, well, why? It just looks like more of our broken politics and vicious fights now out in the open. A party in the Congress that does just about nothing to create jobs or to help people without jobs decided the best way to do their job is to shower the Obama administration with subpoenas. There were none of these calls for imprisonment. There were no calls to impeach Obama for obstruction of Congress. And in fact, it was never a scandal. That brings us to today where the standards have now changed because it's a Republican president and Trump is being impeached for abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. The only supposed laws that were broken were those that were pointed out by the GAO report. Okay, fine, but if Obama was scandal-free, then how is Trump now being impeached? And not only are they impeaching him, but they want him removed. The president's misconduct cannot be decided at the ballot box, for we cannot be assured that the vote will be fairly won. You see, it's just like I told you. They're setting up the narrative that the election is only legitimate if Democrats win. Which is just another mind-blowing hypocrisy because it wasn't long ago that they said Trump was attacking democracy for hypothetically questioning election results. They said questioning election results would irreversibly damage the integrity of the voting system. And yet, what are they doing right now? What have they done since day one? As always, thanks for watching. I had a lot of feedback telling me to bring back the Bolo t-shirts. So if you head on over to my Teespring store, we've got a couple new designs that I think you'll like. It's a great way to support this channel and actually get something for it. And by the way, if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so on Patreon, Subscribestar, or PayPal. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.